Hey sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown of West Virginia taking on Alabama, number two ranked team in the country. A lot of people are seeing this game and saying Alabama is just going to walk right over West Virginia. Not so fast, my friend. It's not going to be that simple. I'm going to give you a couple of keys, a couple of things that I think that's going to matter in this game, and then we're going to look strictly at who's going to win this football game. Now you have Blake Sims, who is the Alabama guy that's been there, fifth year senior. Now you're looking to see if he's going to start the game, or will Nick Saban throw a curve Ball. Or will he have uh, Jake Coker, or transfer of, of uh, the Florida State kid that basically could not beat out Jameis Winston for the starting job? Now, when you're looking at the University of Alabama, you know, you'll have Yeldon at running back. You'll have a couple of good guys on the outside at wide receiver. Alabama traditionally, traditionally is not a powerhouse throwing the football. What Nick Saban is looking for with new offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin there, they're going to look to see if a quarterback can do what A.J. McCarron did. Can he be a, 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 a game manager? And, um... Can he also get into the system to where he can make plays down the field? Can he bomb the, the ball down the field every once in a while to make the big play to get where this team needs to go? They're going to need a strong running game. They're going to need massive offensive linemen, which they already have, to pound the Brock and to move that pile six to seven yards of play. You don't have any Heisman talent on this Alabama team uh, thus far that we've seen. You may have somebody that breaks out later towards the end of the year, but from what I see, don't see it now what you have to look hard into west virginia west virginia with that scheme with a spread look and you have the one running running back right next to the quarterback you can do a lot of damage in that scheme and what scares me a lot of times in that first game of the season you don't know what to expect from another football team they can use a lot of trickery they can use a lot of slide plays dink and dunk plays screen plays and you may not be ready for that with west virginia you have to prepare for every type of offense because they have a little of every type of offense they recruit so many different type players but all their players have one thing in common they have speed they're intelligent players and they all have speed so you're not going to get any less of a great game out of this one but i have to call this right now alabama is going to beat west virginia i, I don't give them more than a 21 point win so i'm going to put it more in the category of 35 to 21 because i don't think that um, you'll be able to blow out West Virginia because West Virginia can score. I think that they'll score early on and Alabama will settle down on defense and let those playmakers, those All-Americans, come out and show you why they're All-Americans. Alabama has a number of them and they are hard-hitting defensive players. So I want to know what you guys feel. My prediction, 35-21. to 21. It could be a little bit closer than that, so don't get your hopes up too high if you're Alabama because this will just be the first game they won't be looking to blow the team out they're just looking to get that first win under their belt and to calm down some of the pressure and you start the season off right so let me know what you guys feel in the comment section below also subscribe to my YouTube channel check out all of our videos that we have in the YouTube links also follow me at justmypicks.com each and every day for all the breaking news that we have on sports also follow me on Twitter at just my picks TV. Also, share my videos in your sports group so we can debate with you each and every day on all the hottest stuff in college football. Don't forget to share my videos there. And once again, thank you very much, college football fans. It's going to be a great season. See you next week.